So where, where are you seeing here up? Oh, probably waist up. Like waist up. Treat. It's the full treat. I'm getting the whole package. You're not getting the package. <laughs> Not the whole <laughs> <package>. <laughs> We're getting the, the tease package. All right, are we ready? Cool. Welcome, welcome. We are back on Talk To Me Nice, presented by Barfoot and Thompson. Today, we are joined by two of Taranaki's finest gentlemen on planet Earth. We have Ricky Riccatelli and Mr. Bud and Barrett. Hello. Touch me nice. Touch me nice, I'll pull up and I'll come through. Touch me nice. Touch me nice, I'll pull up and I'll come through. Um, it is our very last day here. On, uh, in Queenstown How have you guys enjoyed the trip so far? You start mate You've been uh, here longer than me <laughs> um, hold, hold up the mic if that's okay Hold it higher Yeah yeah Sweet um, No it's been awesome here actually It's been quite good um, Boys uh, Pull the boys together a bit more I guess See more of each other um, Around the hotel And um, Got a little crew going Doing Off site activities like Golf mm-hmm. and a few fishermen and whatnot, so no, we've been enjoying it, to be honest. Um, not the worst spot to bunker up for a few weeks. That's true. Um, but I'll say a lot, a lot of the boys are missing their families, so it's been quite tough for them. And um, Yeah, just looking forward to getting home. And um, yeah. yeah, and yourself, Baz? Yeah, the golf trip's been great. Um, <laughs> nah, it's, it's, it's been good to get back in training with the lads and start off with five days in self-isolation just down the road there and... Um, it was a buzz to be training with the lads and, um, you know, recovering from my concussion and getting back to um, playing some footy. So it's been a while and I'm excited to get back out there. And um, But before we start, uh, Baz, you did come in a bit late. Um, and Ricky, is there anyone that you want to apologise to um, for <laughs> for leaving Rimless? Uh. Oh, no, nah, well, I was a room with um, Big Derry, but um, no, nah, he was he was happy to have his own room mm. and... I live with him anyway, so um, probably get sick of each other by the end of this all anyway. So, How quick um, was that decision made? What? <laughs> to, to leave the room? To leave the room? Uh, probably within two minutes. Oh, man. He was texting me all of myself. I say, have you text Friby? Have you text Friby? Can you make sure we're rooming together? <laughs> oh, that's Stitch a up. Stitch up. <laughs> that's a yarn. Oh, man. Um, obviously, a tough game on the weekend, but uh, many positives come from it. Is there any kind of positives you boys can take out of the game? Uh, Ricky, obviously your first, first Blues cap. Uh, how do you feel? Um, yeah, I was just um, grateful to get my first cap with the Blues, for starters. Um, yeah, sort of, um, first and foremost, I was just grateful to be there and um, become a Blue. And um, the game itself, yeah, it was, yeah, just lost for words there at the end. Um, certainly um, was like pretty massive, pretty, a, bit, a bit of shock, but... Um, when the final whistle blew, but look, it's one of just one of those things that it's part of sport, and um, the boys have been in such a good space this week um, with training, and we've done everything right to um, you know to right any wrongs. Or, but at the end of the day, the boys played some really good footy in that game, and we take plenty of positives out of it. So we're looking forward to um, just getting back out there again. Mm, obviously, Baz, you came from a pretty similar situation uh, down at the Canes. Is there anything you said to Ricky before the game or, you know, in the lead up to to this one that kind of, you know, any advice you gave him? Um, not really. Like, we're obviously excited for, well, I was excited for Rick and he was excited about getting out there for the first time and he just wanted to play footy and probably expected a little bit of niggle or banter out there. But um, it's just one of those games it's good to get over with. It's not easy playing against your old teammates and... Um, I guess the first game in a while for all of our lads. Uh, it was, you know, there was a lot of great rugby played, and um, we're taking a lot of confidence from that and reassurance that we've had a great pre-season. So, yes, it wasn't the outcome we wanted, but um, you know, we've learned to just live in each moment and, and focus on the next. And um, you know, we're ready to rip into our next game. Oh, very nice. Um, I've, I've I've been hearing it around the rumor mill that uh, that uh, Ricky, you have a pretty special nickname. Uh, this, this nickname of yours is Lettuce, and I want to know. I want to know where this where this nickname came from, and <laughs> what, what, this, what the story behind it is. Nah, well, first of all, <laughs> Baz has got this like, little hair front here. It's a cowlick. The cowlick that looked at the time I thought it looked like a bit of lettuce. <laughs> so I would have said, like, get that like 
looked like it looks like you got lettuce in the top, front of your hair. So I started calling him lettuce. And then he started calling me lettuce because he just reckoned my hair looks like lettuce. You're actually running a similar lit. I know. So, um, <laughs> I should be lettuce yeah, at this point. If we so. And, um, and then, so Baz has started calling me lettuce. And, of course, Baz being um, golden balls, it's <laughs> sort of stuck. And then, um, and then oh, it's, that sort of stuck. The nickname stuck. And then, by the, at the time, half the cane started calling me lettuce. And then it just grew and grew and then the Naki t- team started calling me lettuce, and then it moved to salad because lettuce is in salad. That's how it came about. And so, so essentially, Baz just played the Uno reverse card. On, yeah, on it you. was pretty much Ben May. As soon as he <laughs> gets hold of it, like yeah. it's all over. So, um, yeah, I sort of gave it the straight back, the Uno reverse yes. card, and Bam ran with it. That that that's tough. I feel for you on that one. Yeah, happy mm. with that, mate. So, is 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 there a lesson to be learned here? Did don't try to give Baz nicknames or. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen. <laughs> uh, I think you you infamously said that um, when when Baz left the Hurricanes that you wouldn't know he'd play golf with anymore. Uh, was was your decision to come up to play come to the Blues uh, to play golf with Baz? Yeah, it's just purely golf based. Mm. Yeah, just want to get um, good four ball going. Um, yeah, that's why they signed um, Tucker as well, just to bring the handicaps down on the team. So, yeah, main decision was just golf. Um, how, how has the golf been at the Blues? Are you, are you pleasantly surprised with the talent that's that's here at the squad? No, uh, um, yeah, it's been good crew. Eh? Yeah, there's a huge crew. Um, usually at least four four balls, and there's a few no, nine holers that go out there. So, I think being here in Queenstown, it certainly um, you know we're, we're sport for choice here, and there's a few more golfers after this trip. That's for sure. Is there anyone that's got? That got all the gear but no idea. Is is there any uh anyone that <laughs> comes to mind? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of those boys, eh? Um Yeah, they they get some perks with their boot sponsorship Ooh. and they also that sponsorship or brand usually owns a golf company, so they ask for golf clubs as well. So I won't name names but <laughs> You know who you are? Is it, is it one of <laughs> those sure situations? <laughs> yeah, one of them was a no-show today. So, yeah, I've got a little bit to learn about golf, golf etiquette and punctuality and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, um, of course, of course, Baz, you aren't you aren't the first first Barrett to play for the Blues. Um, is is there anything that you have to say about about your older brother? Is, is there anything that he said about his time at the Blues? It was short-lived, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Kane. Played for the Blues, um, gosh, going back, I don't know, 12, 13, 2012 or 13-ish. Um, unfortunately, he got concussed and had to give his uh, career up, and now he's doing extremely well on the farm um, and doing a few other things. So, yeah, I'm the second Barrett Blue. This is true. It's a, um, it's a family affair down up here. Yeah, and won't be the last, I'm sure. <laughs> is that a hint? We'll work on Geordie, won't we? Is, is yeah. that a hint? Uh, we'll work on Geordie. <laughs> Get Geordie to the Blues, <laughs> make it happen. Um, during during the uh, the kind of All Black season, it was I think it was after that France game. I was, I was scrolling through Instagram, and, and I happened to see a photo of uh, Bowden Barrett and Neymar. I was I was bewildered. <laughs> what, what what's going on there? Can you tell me the story behind that photo? Yeah, it was um, an opportunity through um, Matteo. Um, and Replay, who are a new formal wear sponsor. Um, they're a denim company uh, or brand. And, um, yeah, they look after Neymar and no Neymar. And, obviously, Matteo and Replay support the All Blacks. So there's an opportunity, because I wasn't playing as well, um, to meet him. And, obviously, he's a big big rugby fan. Oh. And uh, he just played a game for PSG and... Um, yeah, came and watched straight afterwards, so it was pretty cool to meet him. And how were the nerves? Um, I was kind of, I was gutted because we'd just lost, and I yeah. came off the field and I ran the tee, so there's, I was still a lot of adrenaline in the system, and I was kind of hyped up, but also gutted about the result. But he's actually a really down to earth, cool bloke, and it was it was easy to talk to him mm. for a good fifteen minutes. So um, yeah, hopefully it wasn't a chore for him, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> It's Neymar and Tom Brady, yeah, you'll, you'll be best mates over. No, we're not best mates, <laughs> but um, we chat. Yeah, it's, um, That's it's um, funny. Yeah. That is not a bad contact list, if I do say so myself. 
Um, two Francis Douglas boys. Um, is there any any kind of there, there seems to be a Francis Douglas takeover at the Blues. Um, is there is, is there anything behind that? Is well, what's what's going on down in the Naki? Um, we've had a good run at France Douglas with uh, a bit of talent coming out, and also Boys High School. Um, the Naki is a good region for footy. Like we're passionate about it, and a lot of kids there grow up wanting to wear the amber and black and play for the All Blacks. So um, yeah, naturally they'll end up like Colty is down at the Highlanders. Um, Scooters, all, you know, he's a Crusader. Um, who else is out there? Bradley Slade's at the Chiefs. He's from Boys High. Hey. Tauranga Walden's at the Canes. Good college. He's <laughs> a head boy. You say dupes? And dupes. Dupes C. Karifi. Mm-hmm. So, Bit of JRK? Um, of course. JRK. We're working on, on him, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> just, just some etiquette stuff with that boy. <laughs> um, so you, you guys are good friends, obviously. You've been known, known each other for quite a while. But I do want to test your guys' friendship. I want to know how well do you guys know each other. So... I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you both the question. So I'm gonna ask. So here's an example. Actually, not example. Here's the the actual question. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you. What do you think Bowden's biggest pet peeve of you is? All right. So, what 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 annoys you the most? Or what annoys him the most about you? And then you're gonna have to answer. And he's gonna he's gonna have to tell you whether or not you're correct. Oh. Okay. So. What, what do you think Bowden's biggest pet peeve about you? I mean, you could so say what, it at the exact same time. Yeah. What do you think I yeah. get peeved off at you about? <laughs> Three, two. Time oh. management. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You, you learn that from Geordie probably. Yeah. <laughs> My whole life I've been worried about his time management and you two are best buds, so that's where that comes from. Be, be at places at the right time. Particularly when it comes to golf. If you say you're going to turn up and play golf, you turn up and play golf. Is, is, there, a a instance, is there an instance in particular? Oh, no, like, it's, I guess with a big group, there's 20 golfers. It's not easy to to manage 20 rugby player golfers. You just need a bit of punctuality and... Very and true. Courtesy. <laughs> Fryby puts on a clinic for us for sport, eh? And this is true. He's yeah, a good man. Uh, okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to flip the question around. And uh, we'll, we'll do it the other way around. What, what, what annoys you the most about Baz? And then we'll, <laughs> 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 we'll <laughs> I'll try and answer that so he doesn't have to say it. Okay, um, okay. There's something about waking up earlier than he'd probably like to and just opening the curtains. Like that's, okay. I know he likes to den up and sleep in. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's actually not anymore. Eh? I'm happy with that because you get me up. That's good. No, to be fair, it's been a good two weeks, eh, because haven't really kicked in a while, so good to um, catch up again, so nothing's really in it. Maybe for another couple of weeks. Start getting scratchy. Yeah, start getting scratchy. He may move back into the dairy if we're here for another couple of <laughs> <laughs> Um, Okay, can can you name when Baz made his Taranaki debut? What year? Uh, two thousand and. 11 10 and <laughs> For Rick And when, when's Rick? Oh this is tough um, <laughs> I'm going to say 2016 Nah <laughs> 2017 Oh Oh man are you guys even we're friends? That's what I. That's what I want to know. Scarfy, were you? <laughs> uh, Sixteen. No, I had those two years of the bay. <laughs> that's right. Two sixteen was my first year of the Canes. So yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah. That, that was the first time we connected. Yeah. On field. First time we became buds. <laughs> Pretty good year that actually. Don't don't recall. <laughs> don't recall. Um, and uh, what's do you guys know each other's shoe size? Yes, yeah. eleven and a halfs. Yeah, oh. I do, I do know that you are a, kind of a shoe guy. Yeah, like my shoes, eh? Um, no. is, is there anything in your collection that uh, that you're most proud of? 
Nah, just strictly Puma. Shout out to Puma. That, this is very true. <laughs> this is very I helped true. him pack these Nikes. Um, <laughs> honestly, he packed like five or six pairs of shoes down for this trip. And I was having him pack up though, all those. Must be the Francis Eddie Douglas boys. I, I heard Jacob brought a whole a whole bag full of shoes as well. Got to have selection, eh? Like just knowing that they're there. <laughs> selection to go to someone else's room at night, you know. Just that's the thought that they're there. Like it just makes you feel <laughs> comfortable, comfortable <laughs> in your own skin. <laughs> Um, and moving on to uh, for this week, Baz, you're obviously back. Uh, welcome back to the game. Um, you must be excited to be in, coming off the bench. Uh, is there anything you boys have to say about the game this weekend? Back home? Yeah, pumped to be heading home um, to see my family, Billy and Han, um, and obviously playing at Eden Park. It's a shame that um, there won't be any crowds for a while, but um, yeah, playing at Eden Park, it's no better place to do it in, in New Zealand. And, Against the Chiefs, it's uh, quite a quite a rivalry, mm. um, Battle of the Bombays, and um, yeah, for me personally, just getting back out there and getting a bit of confidence up after a bit of time away. Yeah, and Ricky, be your first Blues game in Auckland. Mm. Um, is there anything you're particularly looking forward to? Um, no, I'm just yeah happy to be. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing at Eden Park for the mm. Blues. Um, as I said earlier, just grateful for the opportunity, and I just want to. As I said, my plan was to come and um, put my best foot forward and play, play for the Blues and stuff. And always, and my plan is always to be at Eden Park doing so. So I'm just really excited just to get out there and enjoy the experience and enjoy playing against the Chiefs because it's always a um, real tough battle against them. Mm. So um, yeah, just really looking forward to it. To be honest, excited. Um, is, is anyone is there any kind of matchups you're looking forward to to seeing out on? Um at the weekend, whether it's a blues boy might go well, or it's always a um, great battle going up against Brody and Sam. Mm. Are two fierce players and always give it one hundred and ten percent. So hopefully, won't have to run near them <laughs> uh, when I do come on if I get a chance. Um, but yeah, like Ricky said, they're always tough. Do we, do we have is is there any questions you guys expected me to ask today that that you maybe hoped I would ask you that 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 didn't come out? Uh, can we just make it, make it clear that we're just not on a golf trip? <laughs> <laughs> we're actually here playing footy as well. We're here to for footy. We're playing golf on the side. This is this <laughs> very true. <laughs> we are here to play rugby union, not golf. Um, trading hard. Yeah, I mean, how, how has trading done here? Like, it's it's obviously been like a whole. Bubble where you can sit down. It's almost twenty four seven rugby. It's actually been great. Like our trainer stood up in a team meeting just before and said how he's been impressed with the numbers that we're putting out on the field, like GPS reports and um, even numbers in the gym. Shout out just to because we're living. I guess we're sleeping well, eating well, recovering well. It's full time professional. Um, we don't have any other distractions. We can't go down to the to the pub or <laughs> to a cafe or. Not that you guys would have. Eh? So uh, it's good for that. That's one of the positives. We've been training hard and hopefully it shows when we play. Yeah, very nice team. Um, that is, and that is, that's been awful. Talk to me nice. Thank you very much, boys, for coming on the show. It's been very nice to have the, the king and queen of Taranaki. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I, will, I will let you decide who's who. Um, but no, thank you very much. Watch you by Buff and Thompson. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me nice, nice talk to me nice, I pull up and I come through. Talk to me nice, nice. talk to me nice, I pull up and I come through. Talk to me